J.D. Vance delves into the chilling ramifications of the attempted assassination of Donald Trump, expressing a profound sense of relief that the nation narrowly sidestepped a monumental crisis. He passionately commends the bravery of those who responded to the threat while raising critical questions about the security lapses that allowed such a perilous situation to arise. Senator, the FBI is doing an investigation on the assassination attempt. Do you trust the Bureau? I don't trust the Bureau leadership, but I certainly think there are a lot of good field agents, guys on the grounds who have the country's best interest at heart. I think like the president, obviously he was there and I wasn't, but my initial reaction was ex exactly the same. What bravery from the guys who reacted immediately, but what the hell was going on? How was that guy ever allowed to be there in the first place? Because I think somebody, whether it's higher up or, or somebody else involved really did screw up and we have to get to the bottom of it because, you know, now me and my family are under protection and uh, obviously the president's safety is of paramount importance. I mean, do people realize whether you're a Democrat or Republican, what an unbelievable you know, bullet that we all dodged, right? Of course, the president's life is, is the most important thing. The unrest in this country, the anger, it would have taken this country a half a century to get over it. And, um, you know, we, we really did, I think, as a country, get really lucky, not just the president. Emphasizing the urgency of robust national security. Vance's impassioned statements underline the urgent need for stringent security, Mechi. Ma might the Sadoahi. The Tutu Mejubayim, Samedir Bayor. Safeguard national leaders and ensure the country's stability. His deep seated distrust of the FBI's leadership echoes a widespread concern about the potential inefficiencies and mismanagement within certain government agencies. Nevertheless, he fervently acknowledges the dedication of field personnel, embodying the conservative principle of staunchly supporting law enforcement. Vance's profound apprehension about potential unrest and sustained anger highlights a core conservative focus on preserving social order and stability. His remarks convey a heartfelt desire to avert social chaos and uphold national unity.